So we're back with the first week of CS50's introduction to programming with Python to look at the third problem of week zero, which is making faces. In a file called faces.py, implement a function called convert that accepts a string as input and returns that same input without any smiling, uh, sorry, with any smiling face converted to a smiling emoji and any frowning face converted to a frowning emoji. All other text should, ret should be returned unchanged. Then, in that same file, implement a function called main that prompts the user for input, calls convert on that input, and prints the result. You're welcome but not required to prompt the user explicitly, as by passing a string of your own as an argument to input, be sure to call main at the bottom of your file. To summarize, we need to take input from user. We then need to create a function. Now we need to create a function that converts emoticons to uh, emojis. And then finally, we need to print uh, the return of our function. And our test cases will look something like this. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. We're now structuring our code into standalone functions. So we have our main function handling taking input and printing the final result. But from that, we're also calling a second function convert which is handling the actual uh, conversion for us. So let's start by laying out the basic structure of our program. So we need a main function, which is gonna have no arguments. And then we need our convert function, which is gonna have a single argument, which we know will be a string. And we can call this parameter text. And finally, we need to make sure we're actually calling our main function at the end of the file. Okay, so let's start with our convert function. We know it's going to take a string as input, and it's then going to pass or read that string and replace the emoticons with emojis before returning the newly converted string back to our main function. So we can probably use a similar solution as the last problem, making use of the replace method. So let's say um, replaced text and assign that. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Assign that text dot our replace uh, method. And then if we're to copy, oops, if we're to copy this and change the uh, the emoji around, and then on this second one, if we change this to two, and we just change this to replace text, and finally we can return replace text two. Now this might be our first attempt at solving this, and although it will work. It just looks a bit of a mess, so we can definitely improve on it. Firstly, we don't need all of these uh, unique variables. We only need the one, and then we can just override the result each time. So let's change all of these just to text, and this to text, and then we can just return text, which is should now be the converted string. So with the first method pass here, we're changing the smiling faces in the original string. And then with the second pass, we're changing the frowning faces, but this time we're using the string that we returned from the first method. And finally, we're returning the completely converted string uh, back to our main function. Now, if we move back to our main function, first we'll take the user's input as normal, and we can save that inside a variable called message. So we can say input, ask the user for a message. Then we need to uh, call our new function, so convert, and we're going to pass that the argument of message, and we will save this inside another variable. And finally, we will print our converted message. Okay, so let's give this a quick test in our terminal. So let's test Python um, faces.py. Okay, so we get in our prompt, and if we just test a smiley face, we can see we get the smiley face emoji back. And again, if we test the frowning face, we indeed get the frowning face back. And last test, if we just do hello, oops, goodbye, we can see that we get any expected result back again. Of course, there are some improvements we can make to our code. So if we go back and start with our convert function here, we can definitely utilize the fact that Python allows us to chain methods together. So we can just move uh, all of this to one line like this. What this is going to do, it's going to do exactly the same thing, running left to right, starting with replacing the smiley faces from the original string, 
and then the second method call will replace all of the frowning faces from the return of the first method call. And we can actually go a little bit further and shorten this more, since all we're doing is assigning the result to a variable and then returning that variable straight away. We can just return the result directly, so we don't actually need any of this here. Uh, we do need that, but we can just go and return like this. And now we've made uh, our convert function one simple, easy to read line. Moving back to our main function, there's a few things that we can do here as well. Again, because all we're doing is saving the result of our convert function and then immediately printing it anyway, we can just move the function call inside of print. So we can just say, we can just move this inside of here. And that saves as one variable and one less line in our code as well. We could go further again and move input inside of convert, which would then be inside of print and make all of this one single line. Personally, I think if we start nesting functions inside of functions over and over again, it's going to become unreadable very quickly. So for me, this is probably the cleanest way that I can think of to solve the problem. If we just give it one more test to make sure that our code does still work. So we can say faces dot by. We can run hello, goodbye. And you can see we get the expected result. So yeah, I think this is the cleanest way that uh, I can think of to solve the problem. Um, but as always, if you have a better solution or any questions, leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel.